Hey guys, one clue here. I hope all of you are doing well about and having a really good day. Today, we got a new product here. I was last week in Prague on the BTC Prague 2025. Make sure that you do subscribe to this channel because there are a couple of recordings coming online on this channel and hopefully on the BTC Prague channel as well. So in order to not miss out on that, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out. I got my Nerd QX Plus Plus. I got this from Bitronix on the BTC Prague event and we want to dive into that and take a look on what it can do. So let's get started and right into it. This right here is the Nerd QX Plus Plus the Nerd Q8 variant, so we have four ASIC chips, but this time with the BM1370 chip, which is the most recent chip that's available from Bitmain. And uh, yeah, I got this beautiful thing here, and obviously we wanna unbox it, and we wanna take a look. I got myself a power supply, which is 12 volts, so this device here runs on 12 volts, uh, this only has, this power supply only has like 8 amps, so sitting between 90, 95 watts that we can maximum pull off of that. But as usual, I do underclock most of my devices. Uh, I will probably do the same with this one. But let's check it out and let's see how it looks and what it's capable of. So first thing first, in the box we do have some packaging. The Nerd QX++ itself. And what else do you get? You get like a quick introduction, a quick setup guide right here. And with that, we put that to the side. We also get, oh, that's beautiful. We also get a small BitX sticker as well as a Bitronix and a Nerd QX sticker. I love that. They will definitely go on my new notebook. And if you don't wanna miss out on my new Linux notebook, make sure to stick to this YouTube channel. I'll make sure to show you whatever I do. So, Nerd QX++ right here. Okay, we get some nice foam with it. And here we go. That is the Nerd QX++. It is a nice device, it's small, and you might have seen it in the background. I also got myself a stand, so yeah, I think there's not really that much that we need to do. I will screw this on this stand really quickly. We have a couple of heat sinks on the back right here and on the front. What you could do is you have here the back converters, three of them. Uh, you could attach a little bit of heat sinks to it. There are some heat sinks that allow you to basically glue them on these back converters. I do recommend you doing so. It only helps. It only helps. So with that, I think we now put this one online, right? So let's quickly put it on the stand right here. Let's get myself some screws. And here we go, the Nerd QX++ on its stand. First things first, let's plug it in. And here we go, it's coming online. I love it. It just looks nice. So as, you, as usual, we do have the setup. I don't think that I need to show you how to set it up. It should be known that you just connect via Wi-Fi to it, but I'll quickly do so and then we check out what kind of power consumption we get on this device. Alrighty, here we go. I just set it up. It is starting to come online. I set the ASIC frequency to 500 megahertz in order to have it not draw too much power because as I said, this power supply is only capable of eight amps, so not the best, but nevertheless, it is starting to hash. I'm connected to public pool. If you want to know a little bit more about public pool, check out the info card up here because setting up your own public pool is super easy. 
And there we go. It's just as beautiful and as simple as that. Now it's slowly going upwards. The hash rate is coming up. And with that, we are just hashing open source and free with whatever we want to do. So I love it. There's really not that much difference to the Nerd QX Plus, but uh, it does have new chips. So therefore it is way more capable of more hash rate. And if you guys want to have like a dedicated video on how to set this one up, Leave me a comment down below. If you have any questions about this device, leave me a comment down below. I'll make sure to answer them or make a dedicated video to that because it is needed that you get the most information out of this. And if you want to get yourself now one of these Note QX++, make sure to check the link in the video description down below. I do have a coupon code with the code one clue on the Bitronic store. So you save some sets or some dirty fiat money. Make sure to do so. With that, you also have this channel out. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you on this channel. With that, thanks for watching and see you on the next one.